Hello everybody. In this video, I'll be discussing a trick to memorize the microbiology algorithm for gram-positive cocci bacteria. When we know that we have a gram-positive cockle bacteria to deal with, we'll associate them with newborn kittens and puppies. Because cockle bacteria are spherical in shape and newborn kittens and puppies cocoon up in a spherical shape after their birth. Due to the similarities in the newborn kittens and puppies, we'll perform a test to classify whether they are cats or dogs. This test is called as the catalase test. A negative catalase test means we are dealing with a dog who likes bones and hence looks like a long straight bone which is streptococcus bacteria which means cockle bacteria arranged in a long string like structure. If we obtain a positive catalase test result, it's indicative of a cat who likes bunched up grapes. Therefore, it is like the staphylococcus bacteria. First, let's discuss the algorithm for the cat or the staphylococcus bacteria. Once we know we're dealing with a cat, we put them under the coagulase test. What is the coagulase test, you may ask? It is a test where we'll give the cat an option to choose between a bone and grapes. We obviously want our kitten to pick the grapes because that's what it's associated with, staphylococcus. The kittens that select the grapes are the golden kids or the staphylococcus aureus since they give a positive coagulase test. Now why are the golden kids staphylococcus aureus? Golden kids are staphylococcus aureus as this bacteria is observed as golden under the microscope. The kitten that choose the bones in the coagulase test are going to have to undergo another test called the novobiosin test. Here in this test, they'll be presented with grapes and bones and are once again expected to pick up the grapes. The kittens who pick up the grapes give a positive reaction and are hence going to be on the top. Therefore, they are known as Staphylococcus epidermidis the bacteria which is present on the topmost layer of the skin. While those that fail to pick up the grapes, even in the novobiosin test, are going to be at the rock bottom with the fungi and the saprophytes and are hence called as Staphylococcus saprophyticus. Now, how do we remember the novobiosin test? This is the final test to differentiate between Staphylococcus saprophyticus and Staphylococcus epidermidis. If you break the word novobiosin, it has the word no, bio and sin. Which means if these cats perform the sin of choosing the dogs, then they will have no bio or no life. That's how I remember the novobiosin test. This was all about the testing for the cat. Now we'll talk about the testing for the dogs or the streptococcus bacteria. Since dogs are highly aggressive animals, they may scratch and fight among other dogs resulting in profuse bleeding. Hence, our first step after knowing that they are dogs is to test them with hemolytic testing or a test associated with blood. There are three possible outcomes for hemolytic testing. One is that they may perform complete hemolysis. Second is that they may perform partial hemolysis. And third is that they may perform no hemolysis at all. Now, three of these possible outcomes are represented by three Greek letters, alpha, beta, and gamma. Since alpha looks like an incomplete infinity sign, it is associated with incomplete hemolysis. Since beta looks like a complete letter with no spaces, hence beta bacteria perform complete hemolysis. While gamma looks like nothing at all, hence it performs no hemolysis at all. To test the bacteria belonging to the alpha group, we test them under the microscope by viewing them through an optical lens and adjusting our chin appropriately so that we can view them correctly. Therefore, over here, we use the optochin method, which is actually pronounced as the optochin method. If we are successful in viewing the bacteria, then our lungs might have been close to the bacteria on the slide under the microscope. And 
we probably might be infected by pneumonia if you couldn't view it properly then the bacteria might not be present and it might be present in the air around us like a viral infection therefore in this condition where we get a negative optocin result it is viridens next we have the beta bacteria who are successful in complete hemolysis hence we select these successful bacteria for a race the race that they compete in is known as the bacitricin contest those who win in this contest are allocated group a while those who lose the contest are allocated group b since group a participants won the race they have pus oozing out of their legs due to the extensive work that they've put into the competition and are hence called as spiogens while those that belong to group b have lost and have nothing with them hence they have the prefix a before their name they are streptococcus a galactiae moving on to gamma who have no hemolytic activity we just ask them if they can merely grow in 6.5% of nacl solution or not if they can we permit them entry and are called as enterococcus while those that cannot even survive in 6.5% of nacl solution are called as boring microbes with the capability of just blindly staring at the galaxies in the sky therefore they are called as s bovis or they are also known as s galaliticus to revise this concept in a gist we have gram positive cocci bacteria we first perform the catalase test to classify them as staphylococcus or streptococcus staphylococcus will undergo the coagulase test a positive coagulase test indicates staphylococcus aureus which are the golden kids a negative coagulase test means that they have to give the novo biosyn test in the novo biosyn test if they give a positive test they are staphylococcus epidermidis as they are on the top if they fail even in the novo biosyn test which means they give a negative novo biosyn test then they are called as staphylococcus saprophyticus next we'll talk about the streptococcus we check the streptococcus for hemolysis We have three results for hemolysis alpha beta and gamma alpha is partial hemolysis beta is complete hemolysis and gamma is no hemolysis at all alpha bacteria undergo optocin testing wherein a positive result is indicative of streptococcus pneumoniae a negative optocin test is indicative of streptococcus virodens the beta bacteria undergo a test called the bacitricin test A positive result in the bacitricin test is indicative of streptococcus pyogens a negative bacitricin test is indicative of streptococcus a galactiae next we talk about the gamma bacteria gamma bacteria are tested with 6.5% of nacl solution a positive test here is indicative of enterococci whereas a negative test over here is streptococcus bovis or streptococcus galoliticus i hope this video was helpful in understanding this concept that's all we have for today thank you